Alrighty, we are going to start the recipe by making the crust portion of these coconut bars. I do have a 9 by 13 inch baking pan with some parchment paper. I did spray it before and I did leave the edges on because it's easier to pull it out. But if you have a glass casserole dish, that'll work as well. Just use what you have. Okay, in the food processor we have our nuts. I'm going to use pecans. If you wanted to use uh, almonds, that'll work as well. I'm going to put in my pecans and my salt. I'm going to pulse these until very powdery. Uh, we want it kind of like uh, brown sugar consistency. So I'm just going to keep pulsing. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Be careful with the blade. And this is what you want. Just like that. Just very, very small pieces. Now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. We have our, our brown sugar, our flour, and we're going to pulse this together. And then we are going to drip in our melted butter. Okay, we're just going to pulse this together. Okay, that looks good. Everything is incorporated just like that. Now we are going to put in our melted butter. Okay. And you will have the texture of wet sand, just like that. Okay, let me clean this up and we'll bring our tray back up here. All right, I have my baking pan here. And we're just going to pour everything in here and flatten it out. Try to get it even. This already smells really good. I got everything pressed down nicely and I did have the oven preheating to 350 degrees. We are going to pop this in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. You just want this to set. It's almost like a cookie base. So I'm going to pop this in and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. I have the crust out of the oven. I'm going to show it to you here. I just have it sitting over here on the side, letting it cool a little bit. In the meantime, we're going to prepare the, the filling. Okay, so we're going to add our eggs. Everything is at room temperature. Okay, we're going to add in our brown sugar, our almond extract, our vanilla extract, our salt, our melted butter. Okay, now we're going to add in our condensed milk. Get the milk, and then the last item is our flour. And we're going to give this a good mix. Okay, then we are going to add in our coconut. We are going to leave some out, and that's to dress the. We're going to mix this all in. Okay, now we're going to get our tray. Move it over. Our ovens, we're going to drop the temperature to 325. And now we have that poured in there. We are going to sprinkle some of the coconut that we left on the side. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to pop it into the oven and I'll be back to show you the finished product and the amount of time that it took to bake. So we will be right back after this. Okay, everybody, it is out of the oven. I'm going to touch the top to show you. It's still hot, but you can pretty much tell just by feeling the top that it's nice and firm and, you know, a little bit crunchy on the top not overly brown. Let me give you a close-up. You see that? We need to, it's very hot. We need to let it uh, cool down completely before we pull it out, you know, by pulling it here on the sides. Right now it's just too hot. So I'll bring you back. It stayed in the oven for exactly 30 minutes and I will bring you back when it's time to cut and taste this dessert. I'm excited. It smells very, very good, guys. I can smell that, mm, that coconut. It smells delicious. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we are going to cut these. I am going to cut them into little uh, squares. Yummy, look at that. I am going to put some here on this tray. I'm not going to be touching them. There we go. Look at how scrumptious those look. 
All right, let's give them a taste. Let's see a look on this side. Seems more crusty on this side. All righty, let's go ahead and give these a taste. They smell delicious. Mmm. Mmm. These are so buttery. Mmm. The crust, it's not very, very firm. It's like a cookie texture. And the coconut, it, it's so delicious, guys. It's creamy on the top, in the middle. Let's see. Mmm, mm mmm, mmm, very good, very, very good. Nice and creamy and crispy all in one. It's everything that the name says it is, a buttery coconut bar. Very good, guys, I hope you give it a try. Now, if you want to make this for an Easter uh, dessert, get a little creative. At the end, pop some jelly beans on top. Makes it look like Easter grass on top. That will be pretty for your Easter dinner table or brunch table, that would be really nice. That is gonna conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. That really helps me out here on the channel. Go and follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you're not already. If you are new here, I sure would hope that you hit that subscribe button and stick around for a while. Okay guys, the recipe's gonna be down below and all the items that I use. And if you have any questions, just drop me a comment and I will get back with you. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.